Hi guys, I have two boxes here from roundabout, well, one's certainly from around about 1989, 1990. Well, yeah, no, hang on, no, be 91. And the other has just got all kinds of stuff in. I'm gonna start with this one. These, these have come over from my ex-wife's house. My son brought them over for me. What the hell's that? Ah, bottom. This mouse here is falling apart. There we go. Stop it. Yeah, it's broke the mouse already. This mouse here is my 1990s Quake mouse. Oh, the other ones fell off. Oh shit! I'm. It's <laughs> it's falling apart in my hands. Okay. Uh, it's nicotine coloured. It used to be white, but you can see a nice sheen of of regal king size on that. It's a optical. This was the first optical mouse I ever had. Uh, the, I had tracker balls before that, and this is the first optical one. It's got a button on the side, button on the side. I'm not touching the mouse wheel, because I'll probably get bubonic plague looking at the shit on that, my goodness. Then you have your left mouse. Many people have died to that button. This was my Medal of Honor mouse as well. And, you know, we, we, we played clan matches with these. You, you didn't need, like, 100 pound razor mice back then. This is just, a 15 pound microsoft mouse so i thought i'd show you that it's quite sentimental having that i'm never going to get rid of that this is a breakout box um used in my very very first video editing system which was pinnacle uh edition uh pinnacle studio 6. uh you can see the oldness of all, all the bloody ports on this i mean how's that so that was Awesome. So there you go. Probably not of interest to a lot of these. This here is, is my clapperboard when I did um, for me, me videography stuff. Which, there you go. There's me clapperboard. Last time it was used was probably the 17th of May. So there you go. It's a clapperboard. What else we got? What's this? That is a television aerial. Oh, what the? F Don't know why that's there, guys. What's this? I bet hardly any of you know what that is. This is a. Uh, I don't know what it is. It no, actually, it's. This is from a camera, a camcorder, uh, a pro camcorder actually, and it's probably from my Sony Z Z5. That's off me, um, Vinton Pro, oh, it's on oh, Manfrotto. That's for the cameras, anything else in there? Huh? But anyway, the main thing, the main event is this. My 386, no, it's a 486 DX40 PC. This is the first PC, this isn't it, obviously. This is a, well, does anyone know what that is? Little test for you. In fact, yes, that's what I'll do. I'll test these all. I'll tell you what they are straight in a few seconds, but I'll show you them and you can test yourselves of your ancient computer knowledge. So this is the innards of my 486, the first ever PC that I had. It was a 386, but I upgraded to a 486, but um, it was the chip that I upgraded to so the motherboard. Is still the same so this i bought uh, as a it's a joystick port two joysticks that go under here look at the size of it <laughs> oh god look at that look at that cirrus logic i have no idea how much memory's on this it looks oh hang on it looks like one meg. I think they are half meg memories. What are they there? The eyes, it's not very light in here. Hang on, I'll just have a look at the light. I can't really see. But this, if you didn't know what this is, it's an ISA. That's what the, you know how you have like, it's now PCI Express. Um, well, this is ISA. This is before PCI had even been invented. 
Look at the size of the thing. I mean, I know graphics cards, yeah, it's a graphics card. I know graphics cards are huge now, but this is a probably a, I don't even think it's two meg. I think it's a one meg graphics card, a Cirrus Logic ISA, and uh, it's it's huge. It's it's absolutely huge. This is the uh, that's my mouse port and that's a com port. So this is my com port again ISA as you can see. So that would fit into the motherboard. Now I'm going to show you my pride and joy. And this is my motherboard from well probably 1991 and I haven't looked at it in detail yet I just took it out just before I shot this there you go Cirrus CX 486 DX 40 chip that's the heatsink obviously the chips underneath that and what I have noticed is there's no memory the mem there's all the ISA they're all the ISA ports so for example yeah your card would be mounted like like that I can't put it in because it'll hit the table but that's how you would mount you so you've got three ISA uh, and I can't remember what they're called but that's how it would work but I've just noticed that there is there are no memory that's your memory where your memory would go and there's none in there now I can't remember what I got after this I think it was a p1 and so I would need to have changed the the motherboard so I don't think the, the memory from this would have fit into an Intel um, so I think the shop actually stole the memory uh, out of this because I do remember when I upgraded this actual motherboard from one meg to two meg of ram rabbit go away no you can't no you can't have it get get no go away uh, i upgraded this from one meg to two meg um just for doom i i used to do levels on doom and i wanted more imps in the levels and because my pc just couldn't cope with it so i took this me pc it was a, it was a huge flat pc there weren't towers that were like flat so this would be like on the bottom like that so it would be about that wide and it'd be about that high then you would put your big crt monitor on top of that so i actually took the base unit through to the computer place where i bought it and they didn't know games or anything like that so they were like didn't know what the hell i was on about when i, I wanted more imps in me level on doom so what they did was they upgraded this from one meg to two megs i think they did or was it two meg to four meg it might have been two meg to four it was such a hilarious amount of uh, memory but i never got my original uh memory back so they kind of just nicked it i guess but uh, i didn't realize i was so naive to, to pc builds back then that i didn't know anything about taking the ram out and or anything like that i mean now you know i'm you know i've built four pcs now so i kind of know the deal around everything but back then i hadn't a clue this was all just like hieroglyphics to me uh back then but me the memory that's missing from is that all oh, what's happened to that look oh that's the oh my goodness look what's happened that's corroded look that's the uh, motherboard the bios battery and it's all it's corroded I'm gonna to have to clean that up I'm gonna to have to take that out the battery on this looks like it's actually soldered onto the motherboard <laughs> what the hell but yeah that's that's actually that's a shame never mind um, just actually noticed that but yeah I, I didn't know much about the memory back then so you know at the end of the day they probably just swiped it I would have really have liked to rebuild this but I don't know if it's even possible. I don't even know if this is worth anything anymore. It is a massively old part. It's a it's an antique. There is no doubt about it. This was one of the first PCs ever. And a, a fact about Cyrix were, um, I think they also invented the microwave oven because these 
got so hot that I mean you talk about heat now the, the heat these generated these chips used to just melt doom and when quake came out it was a massive strain on the Cyrix processors and so we were we were really I've just dropped corroding all over my freaking trousers damn can see that yeah and that bombshell guys as this corrosion eats through to my testicles i think will end there but yeah this is my uh this is my 486 dx 40 and it used to have a turbo button on it as well so just if and there goes the box it's all gone wrong guys the boxes fell on the floor and something else has fell out so i'm off to do my next video and I think I'm gonna do a retro wab of Doom just to kind of finish off this little piece with them. Um, oh, I've done it again. More corrosion. Cut, cut. I'm getting melted.